everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a shooter game I made. Uh, so this is the time spent playing high score and like all that kind of stuff. And then I'll tell you, uh, this is like all the game stuff and uh, these are easter eggs. So right now if I start the game, you can see that I shoot little green bullets and uh, it said I completed wave 1 and uh, completed wave 2 uh, and it d does this so on and so on uh, so I'm gonna pause it for a second um, this is an easter egg and I'm gonna show you the next one uh, so if I unpause it and click the easter egg this is what happens it's a lot of bullets and stuff and then like there's lasers kind of lasers okay I'm gonna not gonna try beating this level because it's like super hard and then the other one just makes your health negative nine 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 <laughs> um yeah this function makes the bullet move. Oh wait, uh, okay. This grabs all the HTML stuff. There's a lot of HTML stuff here. Like basically everything you see right now is HTML stuff. Actually, everything you see it on this website is HTML stuff. <laughs> um, and then the styling is not going to load. Okay, um title and then this is just the icon don't ask why and then time spent playing high score you probably like can tell what they're used for based by their names and then uh this is the code for the buttons and what they do uh so this makes the game music loop and then everything here is basically just data to control like how things work and yeah high score score oh this these checks if it's moving like somewhere because of the limitations of like uh like the button detection and then gets a random int inclusively i found this like on the web and then this sets a cookie, gets a cookie, gets the mouse position, uh, ch checks when you click, and then this is what runs when you click. And, wait, no. Yeah, this is what w runs when you click. And then this draws a rectangle. Uh, this is the bullet class. Uh... It has a lot of data, moves, and checks if it hits a, like, another shooter. Oh, wait, it's not beloved. Don't never hit hitboxes anymore. Right. So, basically, before, I used divided by two. That way, the hitboxes were smaller. But now they're way bigger because, like, yeah, for some reason. Uh, moves, checks, and it's, oh, it, and it takes damage. The shooter takes damage when hit. You know, like the shooter thing that shoots. This draws the bullet, and, uh, the shooter also has a lot of data. It shoots a bullet, using a lot of math and stuff. Uh, yeah, when you shoot it, you can change the error rate, but I never actually use it. So yeah. Uh, this. Oh yeah, this checks if it's dead, and then this draws the shooter. So this is the player, and this clears. This defines the function clear enemies, and this adds adds the player to the list of shooters. Oh, basically when the player, like, or anything gets removed from the list of shooters, uh, it, uh, 
Uh, it basically doesn't exist anymore and it's dead. Uh, this spawns enemies, like the number of enemies, the radius of the enemies, the HP of the enemies, the strength of the enemies, the color of the enemies. And this checks of all the mi checks all of the movement, WASD, and V stops it. Uh, there's actually music. Uh, there's music, yeah. Oh wait, the CSS finally loaded. So basically, this is the background color, and this is the start button color, and then this is the color of the canvas, and this is the don't click me button color at the bottom that I showed you. That is the Easter egg. Then this makes something unselectable because, like, you're clicking a lot and you might accidentally select something. Um, and then this is the controls. So, um, okay, this shoots a bullet at a mouse position, and this, uh, is, like, displaying the score. And this is the high score, like displaying the high score. By the way, don't ask how I got such a high, high score. High, high score. Um, yeah. Uh, so basically, all of this just does the wave system. I didn't put it in function because, like, I don't want to. And I'm lazy. And yeah, so but, uh, what it does is every wave, it for like wave one, it spawns one red shooter, wave two, two red shooters, three, wave three, three red, red, shoot, red shooters, and so on. And then for every three waves, it spawns a white shooter. So one, two, one and two, it's one and two red shooters they're white and then three four and five there's white shooters and then six three four and five there's only one white shooter and then uh six seven and eight there's two white shooters and so on every three and then these are the laser beams that you saw they spawn every so basically, when you reach 5, they spawn, wave 5, they spawn, but then every 10 levels, they spawn, I think, right? And then, these, this does all of the drawing and the movement and checking if it's hit and the score and, um, uh, yeah. And then this basically makes all the enemies fire whenever they need to fire. And then this real, like, this is the reload rate of some of the bullet shooting things. This is the health display, changes the health. When it's 20, 75% over over, it's, uh, the color of it is green. When it's 50 per, when it's between 25%, and 75% it's orange and when it's below 25% it's red. Well this is the wave display thingy. This checks if it's moving up then it moves up. If it's moving left then it moves left. If it's moving down it moves down and if it's moving right it moves right. I don't even explain how the like every how the wasp controls work. So basically, what happens is, if you hit W once, you go up forever until you hit W again. And then, if you hit S once, it, you go down forever until you hit S again. So it's basically like that for all the keys, and it's like, that's why I'm moving like a diamond, kind of, I guess. But yeah, limitations. Uh, this is the game over thingy checks when the player hp is below zero then it displays game over and don't worry about the 
I'll show you. So basically, click this and then. Oh wait, you need to click it again. And game over. And then yeah, that's the game we're doing. I didn't change it to yellow. Like uh, when you beat a wave, it's yellow and stuff. I didn't make it any color. Yeah. Time time set playing. There's a time thingy. By the way, it counts in milliseconds, but displays it as seconds. So yeah, this is the complete. Okay, this is the when you complete a wave, and this starts the game. And then way down here, there's literally nothing else. So yeah. <laughs> There's literally nothing else. Okay, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, I'm just gonna play it once. Oh, wait, how did the space thingy? Alright, this just puts the space thingy there. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna, like, play a few rounds. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, there's a glitch that I don't want to catch because it's really fun. If you stop it and then click a lot, you shoot a lot of bullets at once. And this is because, uh, well, your paws, it still shoots the bullets. So now when I unpause, it shoots like three bullets at once. Pretty cool, huh? I'm just going to play a few waves. Okay, anyway, that's enough. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!